YouTube, it's Summer here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little Bali haul. Why have you started Hoover now please? That's so annoying. If you like my videos and you want to see more then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more notifications on when I post. If you want to stay in the loop even more than that, then give me a follow on Instagram where I'll update you on when my videos are going live. So without further ado, let's get straight into the Bali haul. adventure of a lifetime let's say um, and my last country was Indonesia so when we decided to come home after only four months we decided to go on a little shopping spree out of all the countries that I've visited Bali probably has the most beautiful aesthetic I've ever seen we literally fell in love with Bali so much that we actually in the end decided to extend our visa by flying to Kuala Lumpur spending a couple of days um, in Malaysia and then flying back to Bali so that we could renew our 30 day visa. Anyway, because we love the interior so much over in Bali, we decided to do a little homeware shopping spree when we realized that we were coming straight home after Bali. We didn't have much space left in our bags, so we weren't able to get as much as we'd hoped, but we did get quite a bit. So without any further ado, let's get on with the bloody haul. <laughs> nah, that looks that don't work when you're far away from the camera. Anyway, let's get on with the haul. So the first thing that I got from my Bali haul is the bamboo straws. They are seen quite a lot around Bali. You get 12 in a packet. These are bought in Changu. You can get them in other places like Ubud as well. Um, but we were just in Changu on the day that we got them. So that's why we got them there. We paid 30,000 indonesian rupiah for them yeah i think we got a good deal on them i mean one pound fifty you can't really go wrong plus they're good for the environment because they're not plastic so <laughs> yes honey yeah anyway so the next thing that we got were these so the next thing that we got were these two brass pineapple hangers so yeah there's these two brass hangers here Another thing that I bought to go along with the brass coat hangers was this really, really cute bottle opener. Oh, it's actually a brass finish as well. And it has a little monkey on it because everyone knows Bali is famous for its monkeys. Um, I don't know if that's what it's famous for, but there's a shit ton there. So monkeys are cute. So that's why I got that. And it goes with the brass theme, so yay. We paid a total of, I think it was about 150,000 Indian rupiah, which is like eight pounds, I think. Okay, so the next thing that we got was mainly for Ed. He really enjoys his coffee, particularly an espresso. Espresso or es espresso? Particularly an espresso. So we got these two metal tiny little cute mugs here. We chose two different colours because I think it's a bit more, I don't know, fun. Sometimes when things are too symmetrical it looks a bit shitty. I don't want to use the word edgy because that's just sad, but yeah, edgy. You hear that? So we got these two for 70,000 each, which is kind of expensive, but we got them in Changu, so it's a lot harder to kind of hustle people down. So we paid 140 for two of them, which is about, what is that? 140. Yeah, 
So we paid about six pounds for two of these. So alongside the mugs, we wanted to buy these really cute wooden coasters that we actually saw in one of the coffee shops in Changu. Like I said, the decor in Changu really inspired us with all of our purchases because it is just stunning how they do up their coffee shops and their restaurants and their hotels, everything basically. So this is the coasters that we got. We actually got two of them because we wanted them for the mugs. I used to be a waitress so oh. the skill's still there boo. That's so gonna drop. <laughs> and we picked them up from the market in Ubud. Um the coasters were fifty thousand for shut up. That dog is so loud. What dog sounds like that? You know, I, I like dogs, but that dog I hate. Yeah, for the two coasters, we paid 50,000 for both of them. From what they asked for to what we got them for was a really good price. So the next thing that we got is one of our more sentimental purchases. <laughs> so we went out and we bought ourselves a pair of these wooden bowls. All of our breakfasts were served in these wooden bowls. Um, every morning when we went to eat breakfast, we were literally just die to take a photo of our food which is sad as fuck i know but it just was presented so nicely and part of the reason was these wooden bowls whenever we made me goreng in the evenings we would eat out of these i love them so this is what they look like close up they're both slightly different but we tried to get similar sizes they all are going to be slightly different because they are handmade we bought those really really cheap actually someone that you like was like yeah just take them we got them for 50,000 for both, <laughs> but 50,000 for two bowls, that's literally like two pounds. So the next thing that I want to show you is two more plates. Um, we wanted them actually initially to match the bowls because you can actually buy sets. And then we walked past a shop in Ubud in the market, the arts market, and we saw these two lovely plates that were a bit more unique than the ones that come with the bowls. They're not just plain circular flat plates, but they don't really work so well with the bowls. Anyway, you don't give a shit, so let's just show you. We got these two gorgeous dark wood curved plates. Um, you can kind of see the shape there is like a U-shaped plate. And that's the detail on them there. But as you can see, they don't work so well with the bowl, so you see, it's wobbly as fuck. And the colours actually do look quite nice together, it's just not that stable. So, those are our plates. So this next item, I kind of have an idea in mind of what I want it to be and what I want its function to be. It's a really pretty bohemian sort of rustic piece. I bought it from the market, the arts market in Bali. It's this slab of wood which is finished off really nicely and smoothly on the top, but then the sides are kind of left a bit raw with the bark still there. I kind of wanted to put it on a side table in a front room and put kind of like a bottle of whiskey on it that's in a really nice crystal bottle with two whiskey glasses on the side and maybe even have my little monkey resting on it like that or something. I don't know, it's just an idea, but I think the brass and the wood really look nice together. This was bought from the market in Ubud and we paid a total of 80,000 Indian rupiah for it. So all in all, very happy with it. The next thing that we got was these bags of coffee. Some of them are luwak, which is an animal that actually eats the coffee nut or I don't know, the fruit that coffee is made from, and then they poop out the coffee bean. One bag is of the Luwak coffee and the other one's just the Balinese coffee. The bags are super cute and they come with these flowers on the side. Um, we actually had a lot more than this, but we've drunk the other coffee. Um, you can choose if you want it ground up into powder or left in the coffee bean form. For these smaller ones, I think we paid 200,000 for two of the normal Balinese coffee and then you get a free pack of the Luwak one with that 
and we bought these in the Ubud Art Market and there's quite a prominent um, Luak coffee shop there so you've probably seen it before if you have been to the Arts Market and they actually have a Luak in the store that you can pair and it's really cute it looks kind of scary at first because it has really sharp teeth but in the end I ended up holding it and it's actually really adorable and fluffy and cute I wonder what went this whole time. That would have been cute. I should have worn this the whole time. Ow. Ow. Stuck in my. Ow. Yeah. I've got it stuck. No one talked me out of this, what the fuck? See what happens when I'm left alone? Kill me now. So all of you people with straight hair that complain about your straight hair because, you know, he's not doing the right thing that day. Try having curly hair, bitch. Am I actually gonna attempt to put this back in? Yes, I am. Oh, I feel like I'm in Bali again. Okay. So yeah, you can get Luat coffee and it tastes really good and yada 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 and everything I just said. So the next thing that I got from Bali isn't homeware and I actually don't have it. But I think it's very much worth adding it into the haul because it's fucking delicious. Hence why I don't have it anymore because I finished it. Um, so when I was in Bali and I wanted a morning coffee, sometimes you know, early in the morning, before I was ready to get out of bed, I bought them big bags of their instant Luat coffee, which is to die for. And I've actually finished it, but I will put a picture on that side of me um, to show you what it looks like. So if you do go to Bali and you want to go to the supermarket and you want some sort of instant coffee and you don't know which one to get, get this one. I brought a whole sack of it back, but I've plowed through it like no one's business. So it's all gone now, which I'm sad about, but hey. The other thing that I brought back with me, which I've already demolished, is the Indomie Megareng flavoured noodles. It's definitely worth trying those or picking them up because you can't get them in England. Maybe I should do like a little tutorial on how best to cook them because I think it is an art form. Maybe if I manage to pick some up, I'll do a little tutorial on how best to make those because, like I said, it's an art form. So the next thing that I bought was these boxes. I wasn't going to buy them because I thought I was travelling for longer, but then when I found out that I was coming home, it was the, probably the first thing that I bought. <laughs> like, how cute are these? So yeah, I got these three barley boxes from Ubud Art Market again, and they are beaded all the way. You can get ones that kind of match, so they had a set of three of this one and, you know, a set of three of this one. Like I said, I kind of like things when they when they don't match because I think it looks a bit nicer. This is quite a statement piece, so I quite like it paired with something a bit more minimalistic, even though this has got stripes on it as well. Oh my god, I'm doing so bad at this. And with this one, that's also minimalist. And it goes with the brass. So once again, I'm colour coordinating. So for these three boxes, I paid a total of 500,000, 500, sounds crazy, same thousand, 500,000 Indian rupiah. Um, and they're made out of kind of like this woven basket material, which makes them super bohemian and very Bali-esque. But yeah, I got them for a total of 500 for all three, which I hustled for. Um, and it did take a lot of like walking around to different shops in Ubud in the art market. Yeah, I think 500 for all three of these, I don't think I could have got any lower than that. So the next thing that I got, which you can actually see next to me, is this macrame plant hanger. I do want to get one of those kind of flowing plants put in it, but for now this will have to do. I did choose the smaller one, the less detail, just because I was running out of space in my bag. It comes with a round hook bit on the top, and yeah, it sits nicely with these tassels hanging down, and I just I hang it up there, and it looks kind of pretty. So we paid 50000 for this, 
which is also another good deal. The second to last thing that we got were these five incense. They're actually made of this leaf material, which makes them really pretty. So for five of those, we paid 30,000. There are 20 sticks in each one. So five times 20, that's a hundred pieces of incense for like just under two pounds. And last but not least, we have the cushion. So I got this one. Actually, I got a lot more than this, but I'm just gonna show you two. This is one of the cushions that we got. It has this really nice kind of macrame fringe effect. And then if you can see here, there are rows of shells as well, which make it really unique and really fancy. So yeah, I have that cushion. And I also bought this which I'm in love with. Um, yeah, so this one is a 50 by 50 raffia cushion cover. Um, I absolutely love it. Obviously it's not comfortable because it's raffia, but it is a really nice statement piece for your house to create that bohemian effect. I really like them together. I think the raffia cushion acts as really nice backdrop for any other cushion that you want to put in front of it. I can't remember how much I got them for because I actually bought them in bulk. Anyway, so that is all that I bought on my trip to Bali. So if you like this video, then definitely let me know by liking and commenting down below. Also give me a subscribe. <sighs> And if you want to create even more of an alert for when I go live next, then definitely give me a follow on Instagram. So, I haven't got much more to say. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.